Hello, Carl from Cabrillo Marine Aquarium. I was out for a walk today, and I thought I'd take a few moments to talk a little bit about our salt marsh at Cabrillo Beach. Let's take a peek. What you're looking at out there, the buildings, the cranes, the ships, all of the ports of Los Angeles and Long Beach Harbor used to be wetlands. Estuaries, mudflats, salt marshes, rivers and streams emptying into the bay, providing a habitat and home for thousands and thousands of animals and plants. That's all gone now as we developed the land for our own uses. Back then, we didn't understand the importance of those habitats for the ecosystems out here and how they're important to people as well. This is a view of the salt marsh at Cabrillo Beach. This is also what much of the port area used to look like back before we developed it for our uses to bring goods and services into Los Angeles. It is a very important place, not just for animals who use it as a nursery in the case of fish, and even some birds will nest in areas like this, but it's also important to people. Salt marshes, estuaries, all of our wetlands act like natural sponges, absorbing chemicals out of the water and even allowing physical pollutants such as trash, litter, even sand and other sediment, slowing down the water, giving it a chance to settle and not reach the ocean. They work endlessly cleaning the water, making it a healthier place for people, for plants, for animals, for everybody. Here's another view of the salt marsh. You'll notice it's kind of low tide right now, so you see a lot of mud and exposed rock. If you look on the island, you'll see the rocks are kind of dark up to a point and then they get light again. Where they change from dark to light is our average high tide line in there. So you can see most of those rocks are underwater at high tide. A couple of times a year, in what we call king tides, those rocks will be completely underwater. The king tides are the highest tides of the year and also the lowest tides. Storm drains like this carry water up our streets. They're designed to keep our streets from flooding during the rains. However, anything that's on our streets and the sidewalks will wind up washing down here when it rains or when people overwater their yards and lawns. So litter, dog poop, even chemicals from the garden like bug sprays and weed killers are going to flush down these storm drains into our waterways. You've probably seen the signs on storm drains like this one saying no dumping drains to ocean. And that's true. No matter where you find a storm drain, it's going to drain to a waterway, a river, a lake, a stream, or to the ocean. So wherever you live, remember, anything that's on the ground can wash down these and into our ocean. Think about that. Do you want to be swimming in someone else's trash? In bug spray, weed killer, or dog poop? The salt marsh at Cabrillo Beach is the last remaining bit of wetland in the Los Angeles Long Beach Harbor complex. It is a reclaimed area, which means that it's pretty much man-made, but that doesn't stop it from being a very important and functional part of our waterways. Storm drains lead down to wetlands throughout the state, including this one. And like I said, our salt marsh does its job as a sponge cleaning up the water that comes into it before it goes into the port of Los Angeles. Though that sounds kind of nasty to many people, you need to remember that that's what the plants and animals here are adapted to, and so they're doing pretty well in here. Because it's man-made, it's not as diverse in terms of animals and plants as we'd like to see it, but the ones that do live here are doing very well. And anything we can do to help the ocean certainly is a good thing. Wetlands are a great place for migrating birds too. Places like our salt marsh make great stops, kind of like a hotel when you're out on the road. It's a place to stop and rest, to recover, get out of the rain, and even find some food. The food here can be the bushes on the sides, the fish in the water, or animals buried in the mud. All of our wetlands, wherever they may be, 
deserve our care and respect. They do a big job for us and need to be protected. Too often, they're looked at as smelly places and muddy and dirty. But they are important, not just to the animals that live here, but the people as well. So remember that next time you see a mud flat, a river, a lake, or stream, that the plants, the waterways, the mud, the animals, all of them there are playing an important role for the environment. And do your part to help protect these areas so that they're here to help us all. Hope to see you again soon.